You ever click that little box that says, I'm not a robot? Yeah, guess what, human? That's exactly what a robot would say. You click, feeling safe, feeling verified, but behind that friendly CAPTCHA, there's a hacker laughing harder than your failed math test. See, the internet isn't what you think it is. That one CAPTCHA could be fake, built to drop a payload in your system faster than your browser says, refresh. You're out here selecting all the images with traffic lights, thinking you're proving you're human while somewhere a hacker is proving you're gullible. Click. Boom. Malware's in. That's not a test for bots. That's a trap for brains. And it doesn't stop there. You know those random pop-ups? Click here to win an iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yeah, click it, and congrats. You just won a free Trojan horse. Every fake redirect, every shady torrent, every innocent-looking download now button, they hide a payload behind the pixels. Sometimes it's in an image, sometimes it's behind a fake hyperlink tag, and sometimes it's buried deep inside that free cracked software you just had to install. Guess what came free with it? Malware, ransomware, and an uninvited hacker living inside your PC rent-free. But the internet's paranoia doesn't end there. You ever open an email and instantly regret it? Not because your ex texted you back, but because an invisible one-by-one one tracking pixel just told some stranger, hey, he's online right now, here's his device, his IP, and his location. Come get him. No clicks, no downloads, just open, and boom, they know everything. It's like the digital equivalent of leaving your front door wide open with a neon sign saying, Hacker Buffett, free entry. And DNS poisoning? Bruh, that's where hackers hack the internet's phone book. You type Facebook.com, but welcome to Facebook.com. The exact same logo, same colors, same vibe. Except it's me. I own this site. You log in. I grab your credentials. And before you even realize it, I'm inside your email, your PayPal, and your Netflix account watching Stranger Things before you for free while you cry in real life. Public Wi-Fi? Yeah, connect to Starbucks free Wi-Fi. Guess what, genius? That's my laptop. I made an evil twin network that looks 100% legit. And the second you join, every packet, every password, every private DM flows right through me. I can inject ads, redirect your browser, strip HTTPS, even open hidden pop-ups that install silent malware. Congratulations. You didn't just connect to Wi-Fi. You connected directly to me. And then we reach zero click exploits. The real nightmare fuel. Forget clicking, downloading, or visiting shady sites. All it takes is one message, one WhatsApp ping, one iMessage notification. You didn't tap anything, but your phone's now compromised, your camera's live, your mic's hot, and your data is silently being vacuumed into some hacker's private server. Pegasus spyware did this at scale. Governments used it to hack journalists, CEOs, politicians, without a single click. Scary? Nah, terrifying. And the funniest part? Most people think they're safe because I have antivirus. Hackers bake their malware like Michelin star chefs. They encrypt payloads, hide scripts and images, disguise Trojans inside PDFs, bury rootkits and torrents, and package everything so smooth that your security tools don't even sneeze. The truth is, the internet is not broken. It's weaponized. Every CAPTCHA, every pop-up, every free download, every fake Wi-Fi, every innocent email pixel. They're all chess moves in a game you don't even know you're playing. So next time a page asks you to prove you're human, maybe the real test isn't for the robot. Maybe it's for you. The internet doesn't ask for your trust. It tricks you into giving it one fake CAPTCHA, one invisible pixel, one free Wi-Fi, one torrent you thought was safe, and just like that, they're in. Hackers don't break in by force anymore. They make you invite them with a click, a tap, a box that says, I'm not a robot. But here's the truth. In this game, the real robots aren't behind the screen. They're the humans who stop thinking. So think, question everything. Because in the digital world, the biggest vulnerability is trust. And if you want to stay ahead of them, stick with me. Because this, this is just the surface. Like, subscribe and share. The next exploit is already out there. And when it drops, you'll want to be ready. See you in the next one.